In this video, you learn how to generate SSH key pairs. SSH key pairs allow you to log in from a remote host to an Oracle Linux instance on the Oracle Compute Cloud service. The SSH key pair consists of a public key and a private key. When you create an instance on the Compute Cloud service, you add the public key to the instance. The private key remains on the remote host, which you're going to use to access the instance. This video begins by using PuttyGen to generate an SSH key pair on a Windows system. Later in this video, we'll also generate a key pair on an Oracle Linux system. This demo assumes you have Putty installed on your Windows system. Begin by running PuttyGen. The PuttyGen Putty Key Generator window opens. Accept the default key type, in this case SSH-2RSA. Accept the default number of bits in a generated key, which is 2048. Click Generate. Move your mouse around the blank area to generate some randomness. Save the SSH private key. You can change the key comment. I'm going to change it to Craig underscore Windows underscore key underscore 01. Enter a key passphrase and then enter it again in the confirm passphrase field. After you've entered the passphrase, click Save Private Key. You want to save the private key of the key pair in Putty's PPK format. I'm going to save it as Craig underscore Windows underscore key underscore 01 dot PPK. You can also save the key in OpenSSH format. Do this by opening the Conversions menu, select Export Open SSH Key, and give it a file name. I'm going to give it the file name of Craig underscore Windows underscore Key underscore 01 dot SSH. You then want to save the SSH public key. In the Putty Key Generator window, select all of the characters under Public Key for pasting into an Open SSH authorized dash underscore keys file. Right click somewhere in the selected test text and select copy from the menu. Open up a text editor and paste the characters just as you copied them. I'm going to open up notepad. Start at the first character in the text editor. Do not insert any line breaks. Save the key as a text file with a PUB extension. I'm going to save it as Craig underscore Windows underscore key underscore 01 dot PUB and you can close the notepad window close the putty generator window you now see that we have a private key and a public key for our Windows system. We also save the key in open SSH format. Now to access the Oracle Linux instance from a Oracle Linux system, we're going to generate an SSH key pair by using the SSH-keygen command. Use the minus T option to specify the type of key, for example, either RSA or DSA. And just like putty gen on a Windows system, the SSH-keygen command generates two keys, a private key and a public key. You can also specify a passphrase to encrypt the private part of the key. I'm on a VBox virtual machine, which is running OL6 update 8. I'm logged in as Craig user, and I'm uh, currently in the Craig user's home directory. I'm going to run the ssh-keygen command with the minus T option and specify an RSA key. Command prompts you to enter the path to the file where you want to save the keys. I'm going to save it in my home directory and then a subdirectory called .ssh and I'm going to give it the name Craig underscore Linux underscore key underscore 01. 
This command prompts you to enter a passphrase. So I will do that. And you need to enter the passphrase again to confirm it. The command generates an SSH key pair, again, consisting of a public key and a private key, and saves them in the specified path. The file name of the public key is created automatically by appending the .pub extension. summarize, in this video, we learned how to generate SSH key pairs. The key pair is used to provide secure communication between a remote system and an Oracle Linux instance on the Oracle Compute Cloud service. So that we can access an, the instance from a remote Windows system, we generated a key pair by using PuttyGen. And so that we can access an Oracle Linux system instance from a remote Linux system, we generated the key pair by using the SSH-keygen command. In the next video, we'll create an instance on the Compute Cloud service, and then we'll add the public key to the instance.